Hey man, how y'all feel about this the baby situation, man? They saying he blackballed. They say he canceled. Little ticket sales, little album sales. What's going on, man? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't be blackballed. He getting a spanking. You gotta understand. <laughs> the baby took the oath. Yeah, he took the oath. Shit, Jay yeah, took the oath. You don't get that big, and <laughs> they don't own you, or you don't get down with their program. You don't. You don't reach that high. Yeah, you can do the street level shit. You can reach to a boosie or a push icy level, but you want to get to rock star. You want to get to that rock star level. Yeah, you got to take that retro. Early Manson, one of Satan's special, special boys. Hollywood always been loyal to Marilyn Manson because Marilyn Manson always do what he told. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He never disappoint Satan. He never disappoint the elite. You understand that though? So Marilyn Manson will not stand beside nobody that's an outsider and give him all that glory. To give him that stamp. So when I seen that, I said, oh yeah, the baby has joined the family. And the baby ego got in the way in a lot of different situations. One was when he spoke out against the LGBT community. Yeah, that was a big mistake, the baby. Like, why would you do that? Like, you know, that was a violation. Yeah, when you know they protected. Oh yeah, they protected by MK Ultra. They protected by Freemason. They protected by Satan. So that was a no no. And we know, they know that uh, your apology, that wasn't real. When you type that, that when you post it and you deleted that, you didn't type that. Then it come from the heart. You understand that? So yeah, it was a violation. Uh, the uh, second one, and this ain't no order. The second was when you took the wrong side and then making a stallion situation with Tory. You took Tory's side when Megan is protected. Yeah. Megan is protected by the oath, and you went against that, even though she did more for you than him. She gave you, she helped you with a hit. She sucked you up. Yeah, she made you bust, alleged, oh, oh, but you said it, and she didn't go against it. And you took toy side. Oh, so phone calls got made. Phone calls got made. You understand that? Though? Hey, the baby, how many M's and partnerships and endorsement deals and relationships and friendships and business that you lost between... Just between Rolling Loud and Megan Thee Stallion. 10 M's, 20 M's, 30. How many? Like, uh, you lost the government, I mean, the governor ball in uh, New York. You lost that. You lost the Boo uh, Boo, Boo Boo clothing, something like that. Boo Boo, something like that. Yeah, Boo Boo clothing, you lost that. Uh, a lot of uh, concerts you lost. Yeah, you probably can't go back to Rolling Loud. Come on now. So, then you, you, you low ticket sales. So, man, like, it's, it's affecting that pocket. And, you know, that's how the white man fights you. Yeah, you know that, right? Nah, I ain't talking about uh, uh, bing, bing, bing. And, nah, they, they affect the pockets and their freedom. You know, you just got to be real careful and stop putting the fans first. Stop trying to please the fans or please your ego because it's not going to get you far because you took the oath. You understand that, right? Oh, shit, you do. Because, you know, some will say that you did make the perfect sacrifices. Yeah, some will say that now. Now, I don't know if it's true, you know, but they, they do say that. Brother, they say, uh, your daddy, when I mean, you put the pamper on him. So, they did your rituals. You was doing good. So, I don't, you know, this is why you getting that spanking. But, you know, um, maybe you, uh, y'all can come to an agreement and everything will get back on track. And we can give Ebro that call and everything should proceed to what it was you understand and you know uh yeah you got the money already they waited too late to try to cancel you right yeah you got the bag yeah you get this amount of money for a show or a feature and all that duh, duh, duh. that's true but guess what you know what your problem is <laughs> you easy to be destroyed and you don't even know it because what that ego that temper shit so the same thing that made the people love you and say you about that life. It's the same thing that's going to destroy you whenever they push that button. Yeah, so, yeah, you got the money. But check this out. See, once the phone calls get made to the top dogs and, um, you know, that button get pushed, <laughs> all the elite got to do to crush you, yeah, you got the money. Is seeing a couple crash dummies your way and you're gonna fall for the bait just like Mike Tyson did. So let me let me explain. Let me explain. You know, the first one, 
They send a crash dump in your way. Not to blow you down. Nah, with the temper that you got, they ain't got to do that on the first one. You beat them up. Yeah, a white guy, a Chinese guy, an Asian. Ooh, you beat them up. You get that felony assault on your case and you get found guilty. That take away your right to carry these bangers, these blickies. So yeah, the first step is to get you that felony conviction. Ooh, and that's so easy to get because you got a temper and you got an image to keep up. So when them cameras is rolling, you always go put your hands on somebody. And this time, the elite, they're not going to back you and they're not going to help you get out of this situation. So yeah, they get that. The second one is to send another crash dummy and you gun them down. Yeah, and they could do it again in North Carolina, Charlotte, or the surrounding areas. Because, you know, you like to go to the grocery stores and places like that by yourself. Yeah, you like to go to, you know, not Walmart, but like Whole Foods and uh, Harris Teeter and Publix and places like that. You'll pop out by yourself. And they just send a crash down and you gun them down. And this time, you're not in the right. This time. You will be charged for carrying that gun anyway. And this time, the feds will pick up their case and then drain your bank account like they did T.I., like they did Boosie, and, yeah, many others. Should I keep going? You get the picture right. And, yeah, that's the end of the baby. Now they done took all the money because the feds then indicted you for that pistol and that murder. So it's not hard. So uh, I suggest you, you know, turn it down. So you can keep picking up your all that show money, all that feature money. And you know your recent videos, let me check you out. You got socks. You know, you did 1.6 million views. You know, that's decent. Uh, Boogeyman, 1.3. You know, four days, which that should be way more. You talking about Megan Thee Stallion? No, that's questionable. Even though it's a million views, that's, that's questionable. Uh, what does she got? Uh, you know, you got that drop that disc video. You got 650K. No. Uh, you know, that's okay. Somebody like you, it should be well over a million views. It don't matter what you drop. It should go over a million views. Easy. So, you know, the numbers are reflecting. But with your ego, you know, you'll prove to us that they don't bother you. Which, that's cool. That's cool. Because, understand, they don't have to send, you know, the crash dummies to try to kill you or you beat them up. You know, you got a fetish. For females, you, you know, a lot of times you like to think with your dick. So, don't think they can put no sexual assault case or a rape case on you. Oh, yeah. You think they can't put their R case on you? Yeah, they can do that, yeah. Because, you know, you like to stick and move. You know, you're a little nasty man. So, yeah, they got a lot of different planes. They can drain their bank account. So, you better make sure the baby... The hole that you digging, and it's getting real, real deep. You better make sure that ladder that they throw down, you can reach it, and you can climb back out of that thing. If not, you bound the trees down. You understand that? Go!